As the new Health Minister, I have become aware of significant concerns and unintended consequences of changes to Medicare rebates scheduled to begin on Monday, January 19th. I am deeply concerned by the misinformation that is causing confusion for patients and confusion for doctors. As a result, I'm announcing today that the changes to Level A and B Medicare consultation items will not commence on Monday as planned. The government is taking them off the table. However, it remains critical that we implement changes to ensure quality care for Australians and a secure future for Medicare. I'm announcing today my strong commitment to undertake wide-ranging consultation on the ground with doctors and the community across the country in order to come up with sensible options to deliver appropriate Medicare reform. I want to make it clear that in my consultations I will be guided by these four principles. Protecting Medicare for the long term. Ensuring bulk billing remains for vulnerable and concessional patients. Maintaining our high quality care and treatment for all Australians. A price signal of a modest co-payment into the health system for those who have the capacity to pay. I also remain committed to addressing key challenges such as six minute medicine, which has been raised by others, including the Australian Medical Association and Labor themselves in the past. And I will continue to consult on how to do just that. I've spoken to key medical groups this morning to inform them of the government's decision and my commitment to continuing to consult with them. In the last decade, spending on Medicare has more than doubled from $8 billion in 2004 to $20 billion today. Yet we raise only $10 billion from the Medicare levy. Spending is projected to climb to $34 billion in the next decade to 2024. So my clear message to all with an interest in Medicare reform is that doing nothing is not an option. This is the time for everyone to work constructively together to secure a more sustainable Medicare system.